Oh, so everybody, Sensei Mark here, teaching the advanced class today. Uh, just real quick, some announcements before we start. Um, so, Xi'an Rusty is not going to open the Pearl City Dojo until the 27th. I know that um, he has to schedule some people in certain classes. So, he'll gonna, he's going to give you more details on that. I think he already sent an email and a text message out today. And uh, so hopefully, some of you guys have gotten it. And then, we're, so, we're, because he's not opening on the 20th, we're still going to have classes on uh, Saturday and then next week, Tuesday. And then next week, Tuesday, uh, we start classes one hour later. So instead of 3.30 having the beginner class, it's still going to be 4.30 beginner class, 5.30 intermediate class, and then um, with that 6.30 advanced class. And then um, the Kapule Dojo, if, if anybody's watching from Kapule, we actually were going to try to open on the 20th, but we're not going to open on the 20th anymore. It's just going to be too hard, especially since the building is not ready. So we're not going to try to open. I'll let, give you guys more details about that later. But it looks like... Um, they just put the electricity in, and then once they put the electricity in, oh well, after everything is done, we gotta get permits. So we're waiting on some permits, and then hopefully we'll get ready to start building the bathroom in our dojo. When they start building the bathroom, we can actually start having classes there, but until then, we don't know yet. So we're gonna eventually go back to the module way of training. Uh, you know, probably give you more details throughout the week, but. Live today, live Saturday, live Tuesday. Then after that, we're just going to go back to modules where you guys can just look up what you need. You know, instead of trying to watch the live video and trying to find your section of what you need to learn, it's just going to be set out easy for you to find. Then you just learn what you need to learn. So today for our class, we have Sebai Savannah here. Sebai Savannah has been on a hiatus, but now she's back in training. And Sebai Brennan with his long hair, copying Addison's old look. Addison doesn't look like that anymore. Addison cut his hair because now he's in the Air Force. But we're going to give you seven minutes, guys. People at home, seven minutes to warm up. Warm up on your own. So Savannah is going to do the kata portion of the class. And Sebai Brennan is going to do the sparring portion of the class. If you're going to do warm up or you're going to train more specifically for kata, warm up kata style. If you're going to be... Training more for sparring. Warm up sparring style. So sparring, copy Brandon. Kata, copy Seba Savannah. Seven minutes, starting now. How many people we got watching? Five. Twenty. All right. Who's out there, guys? I want to see you. I'll call you guys out right now. Oops, I think that's Draco. See, Karate Kai 23. Why do you have a 23 on your name? Is it because Michael Jordan or is it because of LeBron James? Who else is out there? I only see two people. Did anybody eat at a restaurant? I ate out, out, out back. I didn't like it at all. I want chilies. <laughs> when I went to Outback, all I was thinking was, man, I'm waiting for chilies to open. I have me a nice steak with some rice. I don't know why I'm starting to talk like a guy from um, South Carolina, but for some reason, when I talk about Outback Steakhouse, that's how I sound. Have me a fine steak with some rice. I know 23 is because. Of Michael Jordan. All right. Oh, it's said by Mark Cumming this year. Oh, no, it's Emily. Emily Cunningham. No restaurants yet. It was nice. I had to wear the mask when I went in, and then they have, like, a separate booth, that kind of stuff. Well, I know a lot of places are not open yet. You have... Five minutes left to warm up, guys. Get really loose. Who's excited to come back to regular class? Who's actually been going to um, private classes? Said your Mark's going to have some private classes pretty soon, too, for some spying people. I got a lot of new toys in my dojo. I got this thing called the assault bike. 
nickname Assault Death. If you go on it, you're gonna die. Stay on it for like five minutes, you get super tired. Then we got the rower machine. Slightly uh, easier than the assault bike. We got a whole bunch of other stuff. Four minutes, guys. Brett, what is PSI? Oh, Rylan is ready to come back to the dojo. I wish I could open my dojo. It's just, we can't follow the guidelines if I try to have class right now. Isn't that some kind of show on, uh, on ESPN, PSI? No? Or is he just, is he saying like, Psh. I don't know. What does PSI mean? Wrong letters. You meant to say O's. Got it. Got it, Brett. Got you. <laughs> Good one. Good one. Three minutes, guys. PSI is the P and the S and the I is it close to the OSUs? I don't even know. Kind of. <laughs> it is kind of. So by Jamie's looking on his phone to see how you'd possibly make that mistake. <laughs> You guys see said by Savannah's nice katagi. She wore it especially for you. Who am I talking about? You. <laughs> you guys should feel special that she wore her katagi. She hasn't worn it for three months. Or two months. Is it two months or three months? Hey, it's almost three months, I think. Oh, buddy. One minute. Oh, I guess I should warm up too. Let me show you some stuff. Oh, I didn't even notice that. All the bags are on the shelves. Thirty seconds. Day time. All right, guys, drink some water. Okay, guys, I'm going to give these guys a few seconds to drink some water, and then we're going to start right away. No opening ceremony today. Let's just get into training. I might want to go over a lot of stuff in detail when we're doing um, kata and some sparring. So we're going to go straight into training today, right after they drink some water. So everybody else at home, drink some water.
Especially Mr. PSI. Yeah, you, Brett. Talking to you. I wonder if Brett is thinking why I never chose him. I gotta pick somebody else. Brett, maybe I'll pick you when you have somebody else your size. But I figure you're getting close to Brendan's size already, yeah? Is that true? No? I kind of. Brett, you're getting taller? Maybe not? Not really? Because I think it was about uh, your age is when Brendan started to get really tall. Maybe it might happen to you. What if you get taller than Benny? Then that'd be funny. When I was younger, I always thought my little brother would be the same height as me when we grew up. But my little brother is still shorter than me. But he weighs like more than me. So, <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Okay, let's go. Step by Savannah's first. We're doing kata. So we're going to warm up a little bit more by doing some of the pinans. So my brother is just cruising on the side. So I better just stay loose because it's mostly kicks today. All right. First, let's do Pinon Nidon. Everybody should know Pinon Nidon already because you're a black belt. Let's follow along. Skip. Lee. Pinon Nidon. What's your way? Itch. Ikip. Okay, now, everybody at home, I want you to watch your elbow. Keep your elbow in. And then make sure you're doing a correct hammer fist to the correct position. Punch. Sun. It's knee. Sun. Chi. It's knee. Sun. Chi. Okay, Okay, low block to the corner. It's knee. Sun. It's knee. Sun. It's knee. Sun. Chi. Kiai. It's knee. Sun. It's knee. Here I am. Yum. Skip. Hey. Awesome. Shake it out a little bit. Shake it out. Shake it out at home, everybody. Okay, next one we're going to do is Pinan Sandan. I'm going to count for Pinan Sandan so I can give some instruction. Just follow along when you go. So we're still doing warm-up, guys. If you want to go all out, go ahead. And if you don't, still cruising small kind to get loose. All right. Skip. Hey. Oh. Here on Sundan. Here on Sundan. Oh, it's you. It's. Sun. It's me. Sun. It's me. Sun. Here. It's. Knee. Here I am. Okay, nice smooth transition. When you turn, itch. All right, pull your right elbow back before you actually do the elbow block. Itch, bending, and pull, and go. Knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Yep. All right, guys. Everybody at home. As much as possible, don't go up and down. Try to stay the same height all the way to the end. Itch. Awesome. Toes and knees out. Knee. Hey. Ayam. Hey. Hey. Skip. Hey. Hey, shake it out. All right, we got Heyang Godan next. Some black belts, I don't think they well. Maybe everybody has learned Heian Godan. I'm pretty sure. Because now we've all switched over. If you haven't learned Heian Godan, just try your best to follow. It's almost the same thing as Pinan Godan. Hi, right, ready? Skip. Hey. Heian Godan. Yo it. Okay, block and punch. Hit. Knee. Feet together, touching, and you're looking. Hit. Knee, feet together. All right, you're going to bring your hands all the way back before you block. Itch. Good. Knee, all the way to the side. Sun. Chi. Go, Kiai. Nice. Big knee. Itch. Lift up that knee. Awesome. Knee. Crescent kick and elbow. Itch. Knee. 
Sun, stand up. Chi, Kie. Itch. Lee. One, two. Sun. Itch. Lee. Boom, boom. And Yame. Awesome. Hit. Lee. All right. I pretty much went in a row. I think at home you guys are sweating right now. Had a good workout, breathing kind of hard. So we're only going to do one more kata for peanuts. I want you guys to do one of those, but no count. What's everybody? So Senpai Savannah, I want her to rest a little bit. Maybe like a couple seconds. And then we're going to get going. Five more seconds rest. So pick anyone. Yep. So any one of the three that we just practiced. Same thing at home, guys. Any one of the three that we just practiced. Pinan Nidan, Pinan Sandan, or Heian Godan. Get to do it. No count. All right? So, Mr. Savannah, when you're ready. Pinan Sandan. Us. Awesome. Boom. Hey. All right. Nice. Good job, everybody. Hit. Lee. All right. Okay. So now we're going to the Kushan Ku portion. So a lot of people at home learned Kushan Ku for the first time. I think we've been doing it for the last three months. Well, not three months. Three weeks, right? Is it three weeks or two weeks? I can't, can't remember. Anyway. We're gonna just go over some different parts that they used to. We used to do kushanku with a kick and a block together. So we're gonna practice that today in case when you do no count, you just wanna do it that way. What's everybody? I think on YouTube you can find the old JIKC video of Sensei Faris doing kushanku, doing the first two moves. I think it's on there, but I'm not quite sure. I mean, I, I think I put it on there, but I don't know if I did. It's on my Instagram though. So if you search on my Instagram, you'll see Sente Clarice. If you don't know who Sente Clarice is, she's the short Japanese lady. Um, yeah, okay. If you don't know Sente Clarice, don't worry about it. So, when we used to do Kushanku before, like, uh, you know, when we got to this part, boom, 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 we used to go like this and kick and then open hand block. Also, everybody, so we're going to practice that today. I want to practice on each section where we have those front kicks. This part two, it should be this, and then you go. So when you start to do Kushan Ku no count, maybe you guys wanna do it that way. And if not, maybe you don't, doesn't matter. You gotta choose. That's what no count is about. So first, awesome. So me and she and Rusty, we pretty much almost always teach the same thing and we don't really tell each other until we see each other. So when I say it, actually, now you can do mirror, Jamie. So, you gotta imagine that we just finished Kushanku. Not Kushanku, but the first part. We just did punch, block, punch, block, and then I'm doing here. So this is the part we're at. So now, when I say itch, I want you guys to, this one block, this one kick at the same time. But I want you to leave your knee up. So from here, I'm going here, Kick, and then you leave your knee up. What's everybody? I don't want you to put your leg down. I'm gonna say itch, then knees come back. Itch, then knees come back. Okay, let's try it. So that's Savannah, you can move up. Yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah, still mirror, still mirror. Okay, guys. Now she's mirroring you, so, well, the camera's mirroring you, so we're gonna do it the correct side. Hey, so leave your knee up. Itch. Knee. Make sure your stomach is tight. Some people can kick and leave their foot pointed straight to the front. But if you can, it's totally fine to turn your foot. Maybe 45 degrees to the side you're kicking. Itch. Knee. Awesome. 
two more. It. The. Try to make that core tight, everybody. Make that stomach and your butt tight together. We call that the tongue. It. G. Keep that leg that's on the bottom bent so you don't lose balance. It. Go. <laughs> One more. It. Bro. Okay, good. Now we're going to do it together with the open hand block. So, your hand, okay, let's do it. Okay, your hands are going to go straight to the front, everybody. Before you do the open hand block, then you put your foot down, and then you open hand block. So, when I say itch, kick and leave your knee up. And then knee, hand straight out, open hand block. What's everybody? Let's try it. Ready? Itch. B. Awesome. It. Knee. Awesome. Try to snap that kick more. Ready? It. Sun. Cool. Last one. It. G. Okay, that was really good. All right, guys. Now let's do one count. So you're going to put it all together. What's the best, Savannah? Go. Boom. Boom. Okay, go back. So the only thing I would say is, Try to make this hand go up stronger too. Ready? Go. Oh, uh, way better, way better. So more like that. What's everybody? Ready? We got five. Itch. Woo, that's really good. Back. Knee. Awesome. Fun. Wonderful. G. Nice snap. Last one. Go. Cool. That's super good. Super good, guys. Shake it out a little bit. Okay, now we're going to go to the next section. Let me go right here. Rest a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to the next part. So remember, we did this, this. Now we have this one. What's it, everybody? So when you do, let's see. Guess it's right here. I'm going like this. We're a mirror, right? Okay, so we're going to do the left side first. So when you do this move here, it's kind of like a block. So I'm blocking, hitting that person's hand, and at the same time I do that, I'm going to kick. So that's what's going to make me go down. So I'm not down yet. I want to go down when I do that. At the same time, I want to do this here. What's everybody? So, standing up first, down kick, then elbow. Okay, let's try that side first. So, by Savannah. Itch. Oh, that's really good. Back. Knee. Wonderful. Back. One more, one more. Turn. Okay, now when you look to the other side, you got to stand up. Go ahead, and then you bring your hands there. Itch, then D, then back, sun, and back. Okay, so this second one supposed to be open hand block right after you elbow. So can we do that now? Ready? Itch. Awesome, that was super quick, guys. Can you be that quick? Ready? Knee. Awesome. Okay, now, the number one thing I want you guys to make sure you do is, can you go to elbow? So everybody can see her hand. Remember we were talking about when you do this part? Same thing, you're gonna put your hand that way before you do that open hand block. What's up, everybody? Okay, try it. Okay, now do it all together, go. Boom. So you make sure your hand goes straight out. All right. Now let's try the whole section together. So try this side first. Itch. Nice. Knee. Turn. Woo. That was quick. Go back. Try again. Itch. Turn. All right. Last one. 
it ni sun hey ame shake it out a little bit so now everybody i want you to actually do it you know when you're doing your kata uh especially when you get to black belt level there's certain parts you can have some finesse or some slow parts or some fast parts and you kind of can make the kata yours so this time i want you to make your timing your own timing you know, some people like the pause, some people go right away. This is the basic way to do the open hand block. But I want to see what Senpai Savannah Savannah comes up. She might just do it the same way. Or she might have some pauses somewhere else. She's going to do her own timing. And then you guys at home, same thing. Your own timing for these next moves. Okay, whenever you're ready. We're going to do three, guys. Oh, that was a nice time. Try again. So on that first one, stand up. Yeah. Woo, nice. Wonderful. Hey, last one. Awesome. Hey, yummy. All right, shake it out. So you can move back with me. You just gonna do the kata now. Okay, so we just got one kushan ku let. I'm giving you some Savannah a short time to rest. Let me answer some questions while she can rest a little bit, and then you guys are just gonna do one kushan ku, and then we'll go to sparring. Any questions? Hi, Nolan. Nolan said hi, Seba Savannah. It says is you. Oh no, it says miss you. It's an M. <laughs> Sorry, the screen over here it does it doesn't show me the M. It's like kind of missing. <laughs> All right, so Kushan Fu, guys. A lot of times when you're at black belt level, you're trying to uh, make the kata your own. So you know, you you figure out, you know, back in the old days when um, a lot of people practice karate, you would actually have a sensei or a master. They'd only really practice one kata. And then if you'd want to learn a different kata, you'd actually go to that other sente to learn that kata that he's mastered at. So before, we never used to have so many katas that you're supposed to learn. A lot of times, black belts in uh, Okinawa, you know, they just try to master one kata. And then you make that kata your own. So same thing. When you get to your black belt level, try to make the kata your own. You got to feel it out. Understand what you're doing. Blocking this way, blocking that way. Somebody's coming. Don't just... Go through the moves, try to have an understanding of what you're doing, and then you can have a mastery of the martial arts that you're practicing. Okay, let's see Sabai Savannah. Kushanku, Sabai Savannah, and then it's sparring time. Oh, yeah, you don't need mirror for this one. Everybody can do it. Kushanku! Oh, Nice. Good job. There you go.
That was awesome. Okay, Nate. That was like the best Kushan coup I've seen in a long time. Good job, said by Savannah. Usually when we do Kushan coup, I have Sensei like Katrina show, but Sensei like Katrina, said by Savannah might be trying to take your spot. All right, now so my Brandon is ready for sparring. So, sparring time. I know we're getting back to class. What I'm thinking, we can't really spar yet. Like, even when we get back to regular class. That's why uh, Shion Russ has been getting his bags. I got a whole bunch of bags at my dojo. We're doing a lot of bag training. So, when we're doing sparring training, number one thing, uh, if you do a lot of free sparring is, you little bit got to be in condition. Well, not a little bit. What happens if you're really tired when you're doing sparring, you just end up not doing anything. You're just kind of doing this kind of stuff because you're just too tired. What's up, everybody? So we're a little bit conditioning, a little bit sparring. And when I said conditioning, I know Brennan made a face behind me. He said, a little bit conditioning, and that's just a... <sighs> yeah, that's right. All you kata people, you're going to do some conditioning today. Hopefully, you guys are ready. But we're going to take it slow. We're not going to 100% go for throw-up style. Yeah, you know what I mean. You get really tired and all of a sudden you have to go to the bathroom. Now, did you guys know that there's two ways that stuff comes out of your body? Especially when you get exercised to death. One way is you're going to throw up. The other way is it comes right through your... That's right. You figured it out. But we're not going to go that hard today. We're going to go step by step. So first, Super Benny can come right here. Uh, we'll call this, not really the stutter step. People, people know what we do the stutter step. We'll call this the pulse. All, all you're going to do is, oh wait, I'll show from the side. Excuse me, sir. We're going to be in sparring side this way, but then you're going to move your feet back and forth as quick as you can. This way, back. What's up, everybody? So, just 10 times. I want you to do that. Okay, let's see some of You can fix this. Okay, you ready? Okay, bounce, bounce. So, when I say go, move your feet back and forth. Ten times. Go. What? That was six. Okay, ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's what I mean. Shake it out a little bit. So, what usually happens if you haven't been doing anything is your calves hurt. Your calves hurt? Yeah, I can tell. I can tell. So, do it again. If your calves are hurting a little bit, don't go that fast. Go a little bit slower. Okay, ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Check it out. Woo. Woo. He hasn't worked his calves that long in a long time. All right, just make that way. Stand. Put your right leg in the front this time, guys. Same thing. We're going to go two rounds, ten times, back and forth. Ready? Go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, shake it up, shake it up. Oh. All right, here we go. One more, one more round. On scene. Three. Go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Uh, it's not, we're not done yet. Sorry, that's just the first part of the, the thing that we're going to try to do. Okay, now, this time we are going to use the target. Remember we made those targets before where you had the bow and the glove or your parents are holding something or you're kicking your parents in the face or your brother or your sister. Hopefully not your grandma or grandpa. That would suck. Get a bag or get a target. Doesn't matter what the target is. We're going to use... you want that one? Uh, I don't want to use that one. I want to roll it around the... I feel like I'm going to hit the microphone. <laughs> All right. We got Mr. Red here. Okay, guys, level one. Okay, hold on, hold on. One moment, please. Okay, I did. So, we're doing face kicks, we're going for speed, guys. So, we're going to try the left side first. We're going to do this thing ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then right after that, you're going to step up, kick, put your leg down, step up, kick, put your leg down. You got to do ten. What's up, everybody? Left side first. Then if you start breathing hard at the end, I know you was working. Good luck. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Ten. Step up. Step up. Kick. One. Back. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right. If you are the same speed as Sebastian Brennan, that was slow. <laughs> you guys got to be quicker than that. Sebastian Brennan knows he got to be quicker. But I think he's just tired. You're just tired or you're slow? Okay, tired and slow. <laughs> All right. Try the other side. Maybe we just put this bag in a bit. How's everybody? Anybody going to die? Just imagine if we were doing this and we had masks on. Eventually, when we go back to class, we're going to have some masks on and off, kind of. Woo! You guys are going to be so in shape. Ready? Bouncing? Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, come on! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. If you have a black at home, don't hit the black part. It hurts. Check it out a little bit. All right. Now the ultimate level. I mean, he's already tired, but sorry. I got to come on this side again. Okay. Back to the left side. Ten. Back and forth. We'll call it pulses. Ten pulse. Ten kicks. Ten pulse again. See, he's so happy. He loves it. Ready? Set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. Step up. One. Come on. Two. Three. Up here. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Go pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The calves. The calves are burning. Oh no. I'm not even doing it, and my cows burn. <laughs> How are you doing? You good? So this kind of exercise is working your fast twitch muscles. If you want to be quicker, you have to make your moves more quicker by doing this fast twitch kind of exercise when you're bouncing back and forth. What's up, everybody? So said by Brennan, he's known for a good jab and a good roundhouse kick to the body, but his face kicks not too good. So I told him before we started the break, I said, well, maybe when we go on a break, maybe he should work on those kicks to the face. So hopefully he's been working on those kicks to the face. No, not really. Okay. So now today is the first day we're trying to do this. Speed up them kicks to the face. All right. Right side. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go. One, two, three. Come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Go, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, man. Oh, man. I feel like limping this way. Oh, my legs hurt and I'm just watching him. Oh, man. You good? Yeah. Oh. What else kicks do we have left, guys, to the face? Oh, see his face? He knows. So, Uramuashi getting the hook kick. That's what we're doing right now. My face is cut off, and now my face is not. I'm trying to do talk some more, so give him some more rest before he has to go ahead and try to do it. You're going to lift your leg up, especially when you do hook it, guys. You want to pump your knee up this way. If you have a target, like the bag, if I hook it from here, that's so easy for my partner to see what I'm going to do. So usually when you hook it, I want to kind of be... Like right here, especially if I'm the same height as the person, I'm taller than this guy. Right here and then lift my knee up this way, then my hook kick comes around. What's everybody? Don't try to hook kick from so far away, then they just see what happens and then just run away. Okay? So, pump your knee up, get that hook kick. 10 pulses, 10 hook kicks, 10 pulses. I don't know how this is gonna go. Good luck. So you switch feet. Yep. So you're gonna step up and kick, hook kick, and then go back. So after you do the ten pulses, you hook kick, then come back. Hook kick, back. Hook kick, back. Hook kick. Got it. All right, ready. This is the last round. This side and the other side, and then we're done. Sit. Go. 
Anybody tired? Nothing? Are you guys practicing or you're just watching Brandon suffer? I'm wondering. Who's at home just watching? Oh, probably Brett. Mr. PSI himself. Okay, one more round, guys. One more round. Move your feet as quick as you can, back and forth. Try not to cheat. You gotta move forward and back. And then. Keep your stance, you know, like regular spike stand. You don't need to be too wide or too short. All right, last one. Is your better hooking leg? No. <laughs> oh boy, here we go, guys. Ready? Set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, mm hmm. Three, come on. Four, five, six, nice. Seven, good. Eight, come on, let's go. Nine. Ten, pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it's over. You had to do rest a little bit. Okay, I have a challenge for, so by Brennan, so by Savannah. I gave this challenge to everybody else, but I don't know. Maybe so by Brennan can. The challenge was, so by Brennan, remember, did you watch any of the other ones? Remember what the challenge was? You kick this bag over, give him $100. Nobody's done it yet. So I'm going to let somebody bring in rest first. Maybe somebody Savannah is going to try. Somebody Savannah has five tries? Oh, you want three tries? Okay, somebody Savannah has three tries to knock the bag over. The closest one so far was Sibai Nina. I'm pretty sure that somebody Brennan can knock it over. But we'll see. He hasn't been training for a while. I don't know. Does anybody think you can't knock this bag over? I can't knock this bag over super easy. So. It's not that hard. You just got to kick hard. That's all. All right. Somebody Savannah, she kicks really hard to the body. So. Any leg you want. When you get three tries, somebody Brennan has the same thing. That's not bad. That's not bad. Whoa! Come on, you want that hundred dollars so you can go to Outback? Oh man, I don't even like the Outback. <laughs> One more. Ooh, that kick was so hard though. That kick was hard. It just didn't. The bag didn't move that much. That would have hurt somebody. All right, somebody, Brennan. I think somebody, Brennan, might do it. I might have to give him the 100 bucks. Then no more 100 bucks for Nina. Okay, ready? Three tries, that's it. <laughs> I'm not laughing because it didn't move that much. Except for I am laughing because it didn't move that much. <laughs> Good thing. Good thing Sensei Mark made Brandon tired. Two more. Oh, come on now. You want to rest a little bit more? Okay, so my Brandon wants to rest a little bit more. You want me to kick it over, guys? <laughs> it's not that hard to kick over. Just kick it over. <laughs> like so. <laughs> One last try. <laughs> Hundred bucks. Sorry. Maybe next time, which is we're not going to have a live class for the next, maybe Saturday or Sunday. Okay, guys, don't forget, next week, Tuesday, we're starting at 4.30. So beginners are at 4.30, intermediates at 5.30, advanced is at uh, 6.30. We still have one on Saturday. We still have one on Sunday. No classes are going to start 
this week or next week, we're going to start on the 27th. So I think that's a Saturday. Is that Saturday? I think that's a Saturday. What's everybody? Uh, Kapolei Dojo, we're still going to be closed, but we're going to be making modules. So uh, I might be calling some people to make some modules. should be entertaining when I call you over. Be part of the videos. This time, actually, I'm not going to edit the video. It's actually somebody Jamie's going to edit it. So might have some Dragon Ball or some Kodukin stuff. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But see you guys next time. Remember how I ended it? You remember on the other video? Okay. All right. See you guys next time. Bye. Hey.